Related rates problems are, are kind of interesting and we're going to do a variety of them and I'm going to introduce you to all the problems we're about to do. But first I just want to introduce you to the concept. So in this example, this will be the first one we do, we're going to have a pool that's being filled up with a hose here and the water level is rising. So the, the water level is going to rise at a certain rate, right? You know, it might rise a few inches per, per hour or something like that. Well, how, how can we figure that out based on how much water is being poured in? So clearly if we, if we put a hose in the pool and it's just on a trickle, it's not very, going very fast, it's going to take a long time to fill that pool. And, he, and if we put the hose on full blast, well, it's going to take less time to fill a pool. And how, is, how are those things related? How is the rate at which the water is pouring out of the hose related to the rate at which the water is rising? So related rates is really about finding relationships. We'll see all about that. Then we're going to do a problem very similar. This time we have a kind of a trough figure. We have a hose pouring in again. And we're going to figure out how fast the water level is rising um, if we know how much water is pouring out of this hose. And this is going to be very similar. It's just going to be a little bit of a tweak on the last problem. We're going to, we're going to have to just consider a couple more things because, it's, because of the shape change, really. Okay, then we're going to do a problem where we have a guy walking, um, and he's walking away from a lamp. So here is, is a lamp on the street, and he's walking, and as he's walking away, there's a shadow that's being cast by the lamp. Uh, or, 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 you know, the, 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 f there's a shadow from his body, but the light source is the lamp, and, and here's the shadow. And we're going to see what happens as he walks, so the rate at which he's walking, how that affects the rate at which the shadow changes. You can imagine if he, if he was walking towards the lamp, then the shadow would be, you know, he'd be standing right on the shadow. So the shadow is going to change as he walks away. So we're going to see how those two things are related. And, and then we're going to look at, and we might do this one before the last one, but and then we're going to look at a security laser beam. So this is a laser maybe in an art gallery, and if you trip the laser, the alarm will go off and everything. And we're going to look at the, at the rate at which this camera rotates so it's going to be moving back and forth um, compared to how fast the beam is sweeping across the floor so those are the the problems we're going to do hopefully you find them somewhat interesting and the first two are a little bit more common especially this one here this is probably the, uh, the most typical example you'll see in in your course or in a book but these other problems are, are quite interesting, and you'll probably find something similar to them in, in, in a book, too. So those are, those are the problems, and they're, it's all about going to be finding a relationship between two things that, 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 we're trying, that, well, that we're trying to find a relationship between. <laughs> That's really circular. But in this case, for the pool, we're trying to find the relationship of the rate of water, rate of water out of the hose, from hose, And we're trying to find a relationship uh, between that and the rate at which the water rises. The rate at which the water rises. Sorry about my messy handwriting. But so those are those. Are, that, this is going to be our first problem, and, and let's get into it. Let's see if we can find this relationship between this, the rate at which the water pours out of the hose, compared to the way to, the rate at which the water rises. So we'll do that uh, starting in the next video. See you then.